So Ampersand is an ad tech company. It has a national platform with a geo filter to target by region or by DMA or by household. It is made up of MVPDs and telcos. And basically our value prop is really our data, our fidelity of our data, which is very powerful, 40 million households of data, 100 million set-top boxes, so very powerful. Secondarily, we have you know, interoperability to really connect uh, our owners, Comcast, Spectrum, and Cox, but as well as uh, Verizon and other MVPDs that are joining in as well. Um, we really have uh, really a home entertainment experience where we're able to do cross-screen targeting because Comcast, Spectrum, and Cox have IP services, they have video services, they provide all those things to our customers, so we're able to offer cross-screen opportunities to really connect with them no matter if they're watching CTV, linear, OTT, and so forth. And then finally, really, it's just about an overall experience that we're able to provide our customers a targeting ability, uh, both linear and addressable, or DDL based on their needs. Would you rate this industry's progress on capturing the data-driven linear opportunity? That's part A. And then the addressable opportunity, which is newer, part B. Right, exactly. I think that it has momentum. Is it moving as fast as I thought it would? No. It's, it's kind of, it's, I think the acceleration has somewhat slowed down, but I think that's because we've been just through a COVID year. There's a lot of things going on, CTV, OTT on this side. So it's all coming together, and I think that acceleration is actually going to start moving much faster in 2022. And I think I'm really excited to see, I mean, addressability. We've been doing it for just a couple of years. We're up to 52 million households now. We have 70% of all the impressions. So we have scale, and scale's been an issue for addressability. And we've also made it turnkey, so that interoperability that everyone talks about, we're bringing that to the table. We have a long history of interoperability based on, we were basically NCC Media before we were Ampersand, and they were known for that interconnects of connecting all the MVPDs and telcos. So long history of inter, you know, interoperability, and so we're bringing that to addressability, and that's a real new option with scale that I think will change the marketplace much quicker, much faster. And of course, we do want them to work with all partners, but I think it's being less partners and making it larger at scale that's gonna accelerate these options and opportunities. Yeah, if you had to choose one jargony buzzword from beat retreat this week it would probably be interoperability yes, it would i mean be. there are several others you have the multi-currency discussion yes. the frequency discussion um, and as you say ncc before it became ampersand was the original kind of interoperability platform for linear yes I so, call it the godfather of the uh, god inter right, interoperability. interesting interesting <laughs> great um and so but from a buy side perspective um I'm curious what you are hearing most in terms of asks, um, the agencies, the advertisers. What are what are the what's the most frequently heard question for you as they evaluate this opportunity, and is it is it changing as the kind of landscape of consumer behavior shifts? Yeah. Well, I think the the good news is the mind shift is changing of how to use addressable and targeting. In the past, it was always about lower funnel conversion, and now the conversations are more about upper funnel, incremental reach, underserved audiences. One thing I'm really excited about is joining in on basically the approach of network television and addressability. So network is a very powerful medium. It has incredible reach and I'm a big fan of it. However, there's some frequency issues there. So the combination of addressability with network really redistributes those, those impressions to those lighter TV viewers or those cord shavers or cord cutters and really makes a nice opportunity for advertisers. And so I think as they're facing bigger challenges with GRP losses and trying to have that reach in a very cluttered world, what I think we're going to provide is really solutions to actually be more holistic and tackle this problem using a platform with Network Linear.